Table Talk, where we respond to your topics that you send in using the hashtag Table Talk on Twitter or on Reddit r slash SourceFed. Uh, it's Halloween, and I'm Yay! Meg Turney. I'm George R. R. Martin. Well, then she gets to say who else she is. Oh. I don't give a fuck. Okay. That's his new shtick all morning. He keeps saying All morning. And I'm Princess Moonchild. And I'm Black Cat. Yay! We're having too much fun at the office today, by the way. All right. Ooh, there's spiders, spiders in except the bowl. For, except for Steve. There's spiders in the bowl? Yeah, ew, look. We have all sorts of surprises today. We weren't allowed to play on the set till we started. Did I know, doesn't it look lovely? This is J.R.R. Tolkien wrote Spiders in the Hobbit. That book sucks. <laughs> oh, I almost got it in your mug. <laughs> also, Lord <laughs> of the Rings sucks. <laughs> Stupid. See, now if I knew you were bringing a book, I would have brought my book too. This is a book I wrote. What'd you write, Damn bitch? It. Damn it. Jesus Christ. George Armand is really angry today. Shut the fuck up, Mark. Let's do this. I'm afraid to do this with you, actually. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Come on. Okay. JT215 says What was the best <laughs> costume, childhood or recent, you have ever worn? Oh, my parents used to make great Halloween costumes yeah. for my sister and I. And so I'm going to have to say the best ever. Who remembers? Okay, this is old school. Uh, who remembers the Sprite and the Spot commercials? Oh, yeah, totally. There was like a video game based on it and everything. Yeah. My sister and I were Sprite and the Spot one year, and I was the Sprite can, and my mom laced Christmas lights through it so that it had, like, the dots on the can, and I, my hair was in a high ponytail that was crimped to be the fizz, and my little sister, <laughs> they're short, and this little round red Spot outfit, and all the pictures of her just, my sister had perma-grumpy face. <laughs> so it's me, like, in my crimped hair Sprite can outfit, and my sister, like, Oh. As the spot, and it's amazing. I was 42 <laughs> years old when you were five. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you were so old. What was the best Halloween costume you've ever worn? One time I dressed up as the Khaleesi, and I sat in a bathtub and I cried. I'm sorry, is he doing this entire thing? As <laughs> I'm, I'm really hoping not, but it no. seems like it's so far. Continue. Who the Brilliant. fuck is this bitch? Get out of here, I'll kill you. He kills everybody, that's I'll his shtick. I'll write you into my book, and I'll kill you in real life. So you were the Khaleesi? That was your Halloween costume? Yeah, I got in a bathroom and I cried. Does Steve have a favorite Halloween costume that you could tell us about, George? I'll, I'll write him into a book and kill him. Okay. Okay. I like um, the Chalupa from Taco Bell. Where do you remember the Chalupa from Is that the food Taco Bell? or like a costume? Or a costume. I think. I'm George R. 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 Martin. I think Killed next it. year we Nailed need to it. make Steve dress up as a Chalupa. <laughs> Racist. Uh, I think the best thing I ever was, my brothers and I used to have the coolest Halloween costumes for sure. My grandmother, who taught me to sew, um, made my Halloween one cost costume one year and I was Jasmine. Ooh. And the thing was, my grandmother, we got the costume, I'm like so excited, she's been making me this Jasmine costume, I haven't seen it yet, and I get to her house and it's pink. And it's not blue, and Jasmine is blue. She made you a pink Jasmine? Yes, because she thought it would be cooler. Like, oh, pink well, is my I mean, favorite there's color. Well, I mean, red Jasmine when she's slave I know, Jasmine. Right, when she's hot, yeah. She's spicy um, Jasmine. I remember like looking at it and being like, it's pink. And my and I, I think I was like four. And my mom was like, you're going to like it. Like, so you like it. And I'm like, I love it. And then it ended up being like the best costume ever. Already like, Meg's like, cosplay OCD is like, this isn't right. This isn't, this isn't right. <laughs> I've got a character named Jasmine in Game of Thrones. She shows her tits in her bush. Wait, really? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll fucking That's, kill her. It's not, not a character. Maybe it could be I'm a future character. I'm just gonna start telling you all the characters I hate so you kill them. I'll kill them, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Suck my dick. Oh, Reddit user I killed him too. Oh. Appropriate. I like that name. Says. Is it you? <laughs> it's Steve. <laughs> what was your worst fear as a kid? Mine were shadow people. You know, the strange, oh. familiar shapes and shadows you see in the corner of your eye. There's a, um, scary. there's an Are You Afraid of the Dark about the shadow world. This person puts on like what? 3D specs and they can see the shadow people and it scared the crap out of me. I don't like that. My biggest fear as a child is really weird. I'm sure some psychiatrist somewhere is about to hear this and really just... Let's hear it! Judge the hell out of me. Scare the crap out of everybody at home. <laughs> when I was a child, I was convinced every single night that the dishwasher was on fire. That's a thing. I was what? like... The dishwasher is a water <laughs> machine, <laughs> though. <laughs> picture in my head of like the dishwasher just spewing out flames and I would be like is the ceiling getting darker I bet that's the smoke from the dishwasher being on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Dreaming about fire means you're racist. It does? Yes. It doesn't mean you're a Targaryen? I touch you it means you hate black people. 
Oh, all right. I well, didn't know that. I think actually it just meant that I had anxiety from the time I was born about dumb Probably. shit. Probably. <laughs> uh, my biggest fear as a child will surprise no one, and it was uh, wolves. Oh, wait, wow, you said wolves. Because it's plural. It's hard to uh, woofs is hard to say. Oh, okay. But yeah, so anyway, there was a big bad wolf in my closet. Uh, there was the the never-ending story wolf uh, that uh, Gmork uh-huh. uh, lived in my basement. So oh, when I had to go downstairs basement. when the lights were off to, like, get my school uniform, like, it was in the laundry room, which was downstairs, and I had to go downstairs and, like, get a clean polo. I scared the bejesus out of me because he was going to jump out of the wall just like he does in the movie. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have, like, a real problem with it. And anytime you'd be outside or camping and you, like, hear a wolf howl, no good. This one. Aww. No good. Yours at least makes sense. It can kill you. The dishwasher It can kill you. Can it can you. kill you and rip you apart. And I've seen many, 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 many movies where it has. I'm afraid of puppets. Because my dad once came over to me and he killed my dog. Is that why you kill things that people like? What do you mean? Like, no. that's why you take characters out if yeah. people like them? No. Puppets don't have life in them. You give them life. Just like I give life to the characters in my books, and then I kill them. Okay. Shut the well, fuck up. Shut up. Yep. Shut up. And it's only in believing that you give life to those characters. Yeah, I agree. Shut the fuck up. That's so Game nice. Game of Thrones is a book that I wrote. That's so nice. Eddie! Damn it. <laughs> We're spitting. <laughs> Each time he says fuck you, I'm going to try and spit a spider to drink. What's the scariest, do it. craziest do it. memory you have from Halloween? It says, <laughs> Yaga Chukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
1920 says, girls being slutty in Halloween, opinions please. Oh, I, I, I'm not, okay, here's, here's my official opinion on yes, this. Yes, please. Slutty for no reason other than to be slutty, not cool. I mean, that just means you're looking for some attention, which is fine, whatever. You knocked over. Um, but if you're like portraying a character that just so happens to be less scantily clad and you're being accurate, I'm okay with that. I always uh, did, he's so weird. Um, I always did like, bought like that, ooh, little red riding hood outfit and then made her like mauled by the wolf and did like crazy scary like bones sticking out and I carried the wolf's head in my basket and picked it up with a spinal cord and dripping blood. I had just yeah. taken stage makeup so I was very proud of this. But yeah, I, I, I never got into the sexy just for like bra and panties and wings. I'm an angel. Never did that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think do what you want to do. You want to be the bra and panties angel girl? Be the bra and panties <laughs> angel girl. I mean, who gives a fuck? If you're having a good time, that's great. I mean, I think your costume's the best, but I find that a lot of cosplayers actually, they do like bag in costumes or like cheesier costumes <laughs> for Halloween because we do cosplay costumes all year. Yeah. So it's fun ones. to kind of do something a little ridiculous. I think if you want to be sexy, Oh, what was one of the ones I talked about? The sexy shower? Sexy like shower! If you want to do something <laughs> dumb. Hot and cool! Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I think the female body is beautiful. And if you've ever seen it on my television program, Game of Thrones, then you know exactly what I mean. Have you ever seen a woman's bush on HBO? We did it in Game of Thrones. I'll kill that bitch. I have to say, those bushes on Game of Thrones are way too well groomed. They're, they're, what are they called, merkins? Do they use yeah. markings? Yeah. I, I, some of those ladies are quite oh, landscaped. Oh, yeah. No, there's, uh, Roz doesn't really have much bush. Oh, look at no these bat rings. rings. Yeah, I put about five of them in Steve's ring. Did I tell someone to put some fucking candy in here? Why didn't anybody put any goddamn Butterfinger in there? <laughs> I bet, did you know that in medieval times, women can't have a bath? <clears throat> they can? <laughs> I'll kill you. That geeky girl says, what Halloween costume ideas did you think? God, I'm a french fries. <laughs> what Halloween costume ideas did you think were good at the time and then laughed at it later? Okay, did I think we're good at the time and then laughed at it later? I don't know, I put a lot of thought in my costume. Yeah, me so. too. Also, I think maybe having Steve in character was a good idea before we started this tabletop. <laughs> Not so sure. I, yeah, I don't... I f and I feel like you have a lot of, like, can't fart syndrome going on over here. <sighs> Is that why he kills people, you think, because he can't fart? Have you guys ever read my books? Yeah. George I really Martin. hope poor George R. R. Martin never sees this episode. You a You're a nice person. Let me read you a passage from my book. Okay. Oh, George R. R. Martin's beautiful. He's the best man I've ever seen in my, of my dreams. One day he'll, did you know he makes love to all the actresses on the set of Game of Thrones on HBO? That's nice. He tears up that pussy. That's in the book? Yes. Oh, good. It's in the new one I'm writing. I don't feel like finishing it. Okay. I'll do what I want. Okay. I'll fucking do whatever I want. Zach Tracy at Zachara Trussa says, oh. at no, Source Fed Nerd. <laughs> if you could go through any of the doors in Nightmare Before Christmas, which would you go through and why? Oh, that's a great question. What are them again? I only see Well, they're all the holidays. Okay, if I could just would you go through? Would you go to Thanksgiving land or would you go to Easter? The Easter land looked okay, but except for that Easter bunny was scary looking. He just looks um, like a friendly Easter bunny. There's nothing wrong with that. I would uh, maybe St. Patty's Day land because oh, that's, be that lucky. is your home. <laughs> that is where you belong. <laughs> yeah, get your party little party land. on. Everybody's happy. The I fights just, I wouldn't be okay with. Yeah. But I'm a quarter Irish. I can get down with that. I like it. I like it. George, I, where would you live? I'd go to Christmas Town because winter's coming. You guys know that quote? It's from my book, Game of Thrones. Genius. The Fire of Ice. <laughs> the Song of Ice and Fire. The Fire of Ice and Song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Are you going to poop? I just. <sighs> I would live. <sighs> I would live in Valentine's Day world. Oh, I'm in love. It's my favorite holiday, and I don't care if you think you're above and beyond. You love somebody every day. It's a fun holiday, and it's a great reason to just stop and say, hey, I love you, George R. R. Martin. And I bet people fuck all the time in Valentine's I Day world. I bet they do. So, I might have to come visit you in Valentine's you. Day world. You're always welcome. A lot of sex that happens in Westeros, and 
do, do you believe it or not that there's no STDs in the, my world of magic? Because in my dream world, it's there's no such thing. Tag is still on <laughs> hey, pants. listen, it's because I'm not. I, I don't give a fuck how much money I have. All right, I'll I'll wear these fucking pants that I bought from the thrift store. These are dead guys' pants that I put on. Okay. Watch Game of Thrones on HBO. George, back. George do you want to take the table talk out for I us, I would buddy? love to take you out on a you date. I want to show your boobs on HBO. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, sure. Two more. Two more. Let's go fucking nuts, guys. It's Halloween. All right. Merry Christmas. Hold on, it'll drop. All right, let's do uh, let's get one more going and get her. Shabbat. George R. Martin is such a nice, talented man. Thank you. I wrote a lot of books called... The song of ice and fire. I don't mean you. I meant the real one. I'll kill you, bitch. <laughs> At Anna Toon says, "Does your families do your families? Excuse me. I can read fucking English. Do your families have any Halloween traditions? Mine always paints pumpkins, and Dad scares little kids. Good times. Aww, time. love it. Nope. My mom gives out toothbrushes." Um, to the kids in the neighborhood because she's done my Do you get regularly? No, uh, we do get TP'd sometimes. Yeah. But she, I, well, do we just give out toothbrushes? I don't remember, Mom, if we give out toothbrushes and candy or just toothbrushes. Might even be toothbrushes and floss. I don't uh, really remember. Your house is the worst house. Well, but they're always like Scooby-Doo toothbrushes or something fun and kind of Halloween themed. <laughs> your house is the worst house. Uh, my family, when we live, like now that we live in a neighborhood, because mm -hmm. I grew up, um, we grew up in a neighborhood, but when I was in high school, we lived in a neighborhood where the houses were pretty far away, mm -hmm. so not a lot of people came to our mm -hmm. house. Um, but we just give out regular candy. I actually really, really like giving out candy. I think it's fun. Like I, I stayed home in high school. Do you give out candy, candy now in LA? Well, I live in an apartment. Nobody comes to my apartment. I tried one year hanging a, because uh, I live in kind of a bigger apartment complex, I tried hanging a sign on my door that was like, trick-or-treaters, welcome, and I had my bowl of candy. No one came. Yeah, in, in apartment complexes, it's <laughs> hard. Like, no one really does it. Um, but, like, my mom's house is in, like, a neighborhood this year, and I'm like, oh, I kind of want to be there to hand out the candy. That is it's nice. So cute. George, I'm wondering what kind of candy do you want? 100 grand, Butterfingers. Okay. Oh, is Tricks. that 100 grand? Is that how much you made on your movie? Snickers. That's all good. It's all good movie. Things. Milky Way, <laughs> whatchamacallit? That's all good things. No, nobody's gonna lay a finger on my goddamn Butterfinger. I'll kill your favorite fucking character. My mother, speaking of Would traditions... Would you kill me? I'm a literary I never character. Kill you. I'll never kill you. Thank you. Don't make that face. My mother, would, on Halloween, she, we had a tradition in the Martin household. Well, what happened was, is I had, at one point, when I was about 13 years old, I had about 42 hamsters. Well, my mom came in and she said, which one's your favorite, Georgie? Which one's your favorite? I don't like where the story's getting like. I'd say, what do you mean, Mommy? I love them all so much. And she said, pick your favorite, goddammit, or I'll hurt you. And I said, I love Chrissy. And Chrissy, don't. And she would take Chrissy and she would put him into the toilet. <laughs> He'd be alive. And then what would happen? She'd flush him. Oh, mm -hmm. not Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. <clears throat> she did it every year? Every year. So did you start picking your least favorites? Uh, I didn't learn that until I was a little bit older. But I'll tell you what, uh, I learned a lot about life, and I'll kill you. Okay. I'll dry your tears with my giant will you? Will you kill me by flushing me down the toilet? I would never flush you down the toilet. I would never. Yeah. I would probably have someone stab your heart and then eat it. Imagination will die if I die. I, would, that, I, right? I don't want that to happen, okay. please. Because imagination is what keeps people buying my books. That's right. The Song of Ice and Fire. You have to believe. Game of Thrones on HBO. <laughs> um, Alta Loma 23 says, what's one ghost story that you've experienced or heard? This one. Yeah, I think The Song of Ice and Fire is a pretty serious ghost story. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pretty serious ghost story. That's a good mean, answer. Like one you've heard, like we've heard a million. Everyone's heard a million. I, do you have a personal ghost experience? Let's say that. I do not have a personal ghost experience. I do know that I watched Fear on MTV and I completely believe that all that shit is real and I know it's stupid. I realize it's television and I know how television works and I still watch those and cannot sleep at night. Ever. I believe no one really knows what happens after death so ghosts are definitely or could definitely be a thing. I'm not yep. going to discount it. Um, I had one experience once that I don't necessarily know if it was a real ghost story if I was just sleeping. Um, but I like woke up story? and someone smacked my leg or something <gasps> smacked my leg. And it may have been, upon further investigation in the morning, I had uh, 
kind of like L, L-shaped bunk beds with my college roommate at the time. It may have been like she fell asleep with the remote and it fell off her bed and like landed on my leg. Mm. But when it happened, I thought I felt like it felt like the width of a hand like smacking my leg. Um, and I was like, what was that? Um, and then I was just like, go back to sleep. It won't know you saw it. <laughs> um, and I forced myself to go back to sleep. And then in the morning I was like... <gasps> And did a lot of investigating. But I think I was probably just groggy and it was a TV remote. It might have been. No, I do a lot of, like, when I get scared in my room for no reason because I'm 26 years old, uh, I'm like, I'm going to open my eyes and the ring girl's not going to be there. Because if I don't <laughs> open my eyes, maybe she is there. And I, like, force myself to open my eyes and make sure she's not there. Mm. I don't know. I, I'm an atheist, but I still don't know if, if ghosts are real or not. I know Reddit's going to kick me off for sure for saying that, but... Well, yeah, then you could be you could be the atheist meaning you. agnostic. I don't know. Hmm? The ghosts of all the characters I kill on the Song of Ice and Fire mm-hmm. and Game of Thrones haunt me every night. They what use... about the others? From are you talking about that program Lost from? <laughs> no, well, that's DJ there Abrams? too. The characters I kill off in the show come to me with tweezers made of fire and they pull pubic hair out of my body. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think I got like a beard hair. I don't know how you're still spitting that stuff. All right, are we done? We're done. Bye. Done! Oh. Halloween! Eat it! Woo! Halloween say my name, Halloween. Bastion! I, I bet a once. lot of boys would say your name. Thank you guys so much for joining us on Table Talk. Don't forget, you can submit your topics on Twitter, hashtag Table Talk, or on Reddit, r slash SourceFed. I'm Meg Turney slash Black Cat. I'm George R. Martin. Slash Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Trisha Hirsch for your slash Princess Moonchild from the Never Ending Story. What do you guys say we get real naked and just fuck for the whole rest of the day? And we'll talk about, I'll tell you what happens in the next book. I think a lot of bitches fall for that. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you how that whole goddamn book ends. I'll tell you right now. You want to know? Jon Snow and Tyrion fuck. And then they die. <laughs>